my view has always been that junior mining and new mine development and capital market development and participation in the capital markets are two sides of the same coin. And we've not seen that kind of joined up thinking from policymakers in South Africa. We've not had the kinds of incentives that encourage both exploration and investment via public market, like flow through shares, for example, in other markets. But hopefully here, by the industry itself working together with us being one side of the coin, the capital markets development side, and, and with the explicit aim of getting greater participation of small investors directly in companies where their money goes into the companies. And on the other side, the, the primary geological work, the exploration, the mine development, the real impact on the ground that's happening in the Northern Cape on the other side, I think, uh, you know, you can see why Errol and I came together. We quite often um, are on panels disagreeing with each other, but on this we completely agree. We need to get money into the ground, get projects built, you develop the public markets to support those projects, and then get um, people to work. I just think South Africa's mineral endowment and its public capital markets are two of its greatest advantages, and we need to put them both to work. And this is just baby steps to starting to get that going. This is an offer to eligible shareholders, and to qualify, you had to be on the share register on the 28th of June. And of course, because it's a charlo, we only offer our services to South African residents because we don't navigate the regulatory environment of other jurisdictions. So it's eligible shareholders that are South African residents may participate between 2000 and 365. The most important thing that it's done for is to make sure that the retail shareholders are not disadvantaged because the professional investors that participate in a capital raise are always offered shares at a discount to the market price, to the VWAP the volume weighted average price of the shares. And there's always a feeling that of being left out because, you know, the share price will be trading at 22 cents. You go into a halt, you offer the shares at whatever price, let's say, you know, 18 cents or 19 cents. And then the guy that bought shares the day before is, feels disadvantaged. In this case, if he bought shares the day before, he's got an opportunity to top up at the same price now. So yeah. he isn't disadvantaged. And that, that's the important thing. The way I think of it, it's, it's a fairness topper. And in, in some respects, it's, it's missing on the JSE. We, we, we don't have the same lobbying for fairness for existing minority shareholders who didn't get an opportunity to participate in an accelerated book build, for example.